Welcome to SanDisk TV. I'm your host, Celsa Dulé. We're here in Los Angeles today to talk with Extreme Team member Amy Tierney. Now, Amy spends her days surrounded by celebrities. Why is she so popular? She photographs A-list stars at events like the Emmys and the Oscars. You name a red carpet event, Amy's probably been there. She's also recently started a new company with her lenses eye on fashion. But all that glitz and glamour has not gone to her head. It turns out our extreme photographer is also an extreme human. She's a philanthropist. Amy's involvement with the Women's Step Up Network is helping young girls, well, be like Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Celso. How Thanks are you? Thanks for joining us today. I'm well. Good. I'm well. So you live here in Los Angeles, I and um, lots of the images that you cover are of Los Angeles. You got into um, photography at an early age when you were in high school. I did, yeah, originally. What spawned the interest in, in photography? I was always an image maker. I was always um, drawing things and painting. When high school started, there were a lot of art classes, but there was only one art teacher. And that teacher was really an inspiration. He um, started talking about how there was another student that he taught who was a girl my same age, and she, this was a couple of years ago, he said, and when she got older and she went to college, she started um, going around the capital of the state and just photographing people on the street. And at that time I was 14, I was so intensely shy and I had no idea how she could walk up to people and do that. But that was really the first inspiration. I thought, you know what, if another girl can do that, there's got to be a way. The, the person that it helped foster your appreciation for uh, photography in high school yeah. was a mentor. And you work with the Women's Step Up Network as a mentor and now as an ambassador. Yeah. How important is it, um, do you think, for girls today to have somebody like that at that age in their life? It's critical. It is. At 14, it's that preteen thing. I mean, you're getting hit from all sides. So it is really critical. And um, Step Up is getting them and starting them off with these programs at a great time. Tell Absolutely. us a little bit about the Step Up Network. Uh, Step Up Women's Network started in LA and it started uh, 10 years ago. What they do is work for underserved teen girls and then they also do networking events for professional women to raise funds for these underserved teen girls. And they go in the schools and they put up various programs, um, filmmaking programs, health and wellness programs, and photography programs, which is how I got involved. We do um, my photojournalism for girls program at the beginning in ninth grade. And then when they start moving up in grades, Step Up does other programs. They do college prep classes, um, and then they have um, big mentor days where they also bring in women at like small college universities, and the girls can go in there and meet with other women. So maybe they've changed their minds between freshman and sophomore year. I mean, you know, most of us do, I think. The Women's Step Up Network helps the girls that are involved with the organization, but the women that are there um, as mentors are amazing themselves. You have this cross culture of all of these different women with their different experiences and backgrounds and professions. Yeah. What's that like? I mean, I'm incredibly thankful for that, and that's why I'm really happy to be partnered with Step Up. Um, I've been photographing nonprofit organizations all over Los Angeles for the last 10 years, and Step Up really bottom up, top down is just stupendous. And that shows, like you're saying, with all of the women that they bring together. Tell us what it is um, on the red carpet. Give us a little sneak peek, because we see the magazines and we see the glamour and the glitz. But as a photographer being on the sidelines, What's it like to be there in that environment? You have a phalanx of, you know, it could be up to 60 photographers and additional 60 videographers from outlets around the world. All the outlets, magazines, and newspapers are looking right away. If the images aren't up that they're looking for, they go to the next service. They go to somebody else. Yeah, they go to somebody else. The red carpet stuff and the other events that you do is just right. part of the photography that you that you cover. Absolutely. You do weddings and portraits and you're moving into fashion. Yes. Yes. So you've started your own company now. I have. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about that. How'd that come about? I had been wanting to do it for a while and one of the things that really piqued it for me was Lay's Potato Chips actually was doing their um, own commercial shoot and they wanted a still person who they could also license the images for and use them for their campaign. And I thought, you know, this is great. So commercial work and, and fashion work. Was fashion always kind of in your, in, in your background of your mind? Is something yeah. you might want to 
It was. I really wanted to work in a collaborative environment again. And when you're working events, um, you may, I mean, you have hundreds of people around you that you're interacting with, but it's not the same as when you work on like a fashion shoot because then you get to be collaborative. You work with your hair and makeup person, you work with your stylist, you know, you work with whoever the designer is who's bringing in the stuff. And that's really satisfying. How about tips and tricks for getting a good shot? As soon as I take a shot, I might like it and I'll shoot off a bunch there, but I'll move and move and keep moving around. I think my best tip for myself a couple of years ago to not think so much was to literally set a timer. Instead of like kind of referring back to my shot list, I could just keep the shot list in my mind and literally set a timer. And then when the timer goes off, then I'm done. But in between that time, I can really just be loose. You can let go. Yeah. Let That's go. a good tip. Yeah, it's been working so far, <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing it. Sandisk is the brand that you use and the, the, the brand that you trust. Yes. Why yes. is it the brand that you trust? It's a brand that I trust because it has never failed me. I have never had an error message ever. Um, it has worked the fastest of any card that I've used. And for those two reasons, I wouldn't even ever think of changing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Amy. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. We really appreciate your time, um, not only today, but also with uh, letting us be a little a fly on the wall with uh, you and the Step Up Network. Oh, yeah. It was really great. If you want to find out more information about Amy, you can go to her website, which is f8f11.com. And of course, to find out more information about Sandisk, you can go to sandisk.com. I'm your host, Elsa Dulay. Thanks for watching.